everybody. So uh, today I'm going to do a little bit of an in-depth review of the Big Bang Theory Lego set that I got for Christmas. And I featured this along with a lot of my other Christmas gifts in an earlier video. But I've had several requests to show it once I actually got it built, so I decided to do that. And uh, it was an expensive set. I didn't buy it myself, obviously, since it was a gift. But if I remember right, in Toys R Us, I think it was like 60 or $65. So it is an expensive set, but you do get a lot of minifigures, which is probably partly why it's so expensive. I mean, you get pretty much the entire main cast. You know, you get um, Sheldon and Leonard and Raj and... Um, the Beatles looking guy. I never can remember his name. I always just call him the Beatles looking guy because his haircut reminds me so much of the Beatles. And then you got Penny and um, you got uh, Amy and then the Beatles looking guy's girlfriend, which I can never remember her name either. It's funny. I never can to remember the two of them. But um, so you get a lot of action figures and you get a lot of little details. And the whole thing did take a while. To build. I'll go ahead and kind of show the book that it comes with before I show the actual set. And uh, here's some of the, like, I had quite a few extra pieces by the time I was done, as you can see. And a lot of these extra pieces are like uh, little dinnerware pieces. It gives you like an, a lot of dinnerware kind of stuff. And also some extra chapsticks that, because it came with like four little chapsticks things which are kind of cute. And um, here's the book. Which it's a pretty thick book. As you can see, it's pretty thick. And uh, it took a while to build because it's a lot of directions. So it's definitely one that it took me at least several days to build. And I had to work um, a lot, so that's partly why it took so long. I didn't have as much time to just sit down and do it. And it also, in the beginning, it has like a little bit of description of each of the characters. Howard and Burnett, that's their, Bernadette, There's, that's their names, the two that I never can remember, the Beatles looking guy and his girlfriend. But yeah, it gives a little bit of description of each of them and gives a little bit of description of the show. So that's kind of cool. And I'm going to go ahead and put that back in there and set it up. And it wasn't hard to build. I mean, like any Lego set, it was um, pretty simple as long as you just follow the directions exactly as they give them. And it's not a huge set. I mean, as you can see, it's like a one-room set pretty much. And um, I do like all the minifigures. I'd have to say my favorite minifigure probably is, oh, I pulled her hair off, Amy. I always really liked her. Um, so she's probably my favorite minifigure. But, I mean, I also like the Sheldon one a lot. I'll go ahead and pick him up. Because, you know, like, what would the Big Bang Theory be without Sheldon? It wouldn't really be a show. And then we have the Leonard one. He's kind of cute. He reminds me kind of the Harry Potter one in the face. Really does kind of remind me of Harry Potter. And then we have Penny. And I'm not sure if that looks so much like her in the face and stuff. I'm not sure they really captured Penny well, but, you know, I get it. It can be hard to capture a personality in a Lego figure, I guess. And then we have Bernadette. And I think they did pretty good at capturing her, like, facial look. And same with Amy. I think they did pretty good at capturing her facial look. But, yeah, not so much with Penny. And then we have Raj. If I can get him out. And of course he was easy to put together because like he's the only one that's not white. So it was easy to find his hair piece and his uh, skin and stuff. And then we have uh, the other guy. Howard. So. And yeah, I, I, obviously this guy's just forgettable to me for some reason. I just, I guess he's my least favorite character on the entire show anyway, so that's probably partly why he's forgettable to me too. And then you have, uh, I think it's Rajesha's dog too, little minifigure, which is really cute. I love animal minifigures from Lego, so he's really cute. And then um, I'll show you a few of my other favorite things. Um, I love this little table that you get. It comes with um, a Lego newspaper, and then little Mexican, or not Mexican, Chinese, which, you know, they eat every Thursday. Oops, 
I dropped it. But I like that. It's cute. And it comes with a cup. And then I like this little stand here, which is just uh, kind of like Sheldon's drawing board. And it has, you know, some of his kind of, uh, I guess, mathematical or kind of stuff on it. And then some of my other favorites. I do like the telescope. It's cute. I'll show you that. Cute little telescope. And I keep knocking the minifigures over, but... Um, I love the little robots. There's actually a couple. There's this reddish one, and there's this bluish one. So I think they're both really cute. So, And I just, I love little things like that. I just think they're adorable. Put those back. And then, you know, there's like little books in the bookcase and a little lamp. And I like this thing. It's like a, oh! It's like a DNA model, and I just knocked it off, but here I can put back on probably pretty quickly. Oh. Well, hopefully I can. Okay, let's see if we can get this back on here pretty easily. Yeah, there we go. So a little DNA model, which is pretty cool. So I like that a lot. And if I'm not putting stuff back in the right place, oh well, it's my stuff, so I can do what I want with it. And I do like this little, like, light bulb thing in the back, and it has another little whiteboard with writing on it, which says, uh, multi photon optical vanic spectroscopy, is what it looks like it says. And uh, I'm not going to take that off because those things can be kind of a pain to get off and on. And then I also like the little uh, like wall picture it has here. So overall, I mean, I think it's a really cute set. Um, I think it was worth the money, but only mainly because of the minifigures. If it didn't have all the minifigures, I'm not sure it would be worth all the money. But uh, as you probably know, if you collect Lego, many figures can be really expensive just on by themselves if you try to buy them like on eBay or whatever. So like in some ways it's easier if you want like a lot of the minifigures in a set to just buy the set than to try to buy the minifigures because it can actually end up being more. So we'll put all the minifigures back over here. Oops. Oh well, they're not all going to stand up, but that's okay. But that's kind of uh, the overview of the entire set, and you can see some of mine fell over. I'm not going to bother right now, but there's a lot of little details. I didn't really show over here too well. Um, you know, you have a little desk and the little computer. I don't think there's really anything on the computer. Yeah, no, it's just plain black. And more bookcases in the back and a little, like, radio thing and... So there's a lot of stuff in here, a little car poster on the door there. So, I mean, it's definitely worth it, I think, because of all the figures. But yeah, if it wasn't for those, I'm not sure it would be worth all that money. But it was fun to build. It was fun to do. Um, I've actually gotten a lot of building sets lately, and I got a couple more that I want to do videos on. So if you like this kind of stuff, I hope that you'll subscribe and watch some of my future videos. Um, if you've bought this set yourself or thought about buying it, comment and let me know what you think. And uh, that's it. So make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. And like I said, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. Um, I'm hoping to, by the end of this year, get up to maybe at least 1,000 subscribers, which may be a long goal, but I'm hoping that I can get there by the end of the year. So I definitely appreciate any help in sharing my videos or, you know, any kind of promotion or anything like that. And uh, I guess that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this little overview of the Big Bang Theory Lego set. And I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.